Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablocks haul with the SS Motion or the Domain as we're changing the name within the month. This is Simon here and today we are looking at this, which may not look like much, but I took a month trip to America in November and it was very fruitful, very bountiful for my Halo Megablocks needs. I have been wanting to go to America to shop for Halo Mega Blocks for a long time, and boy howdy, I found almost exactly what I wanted. Whoa. We're gonna see what I got from the United States of America. God bless their successful distribution rates. First of all, I'm gonna mention that this video was sponsored by Halo Collector. It's the number one Halo collecting community on the internet, one of my favorite places to go, and you can find them at facebook.com slash Halo Collector. Today we're gonna go through everything I bought in the US. It's quite a lot of stuff, but first I'll start with all of the Mega Bloks figures that I like to keep with me while I'm living abroad. It's like a little selection of Halo Mega Bloks. I always like to keep it with me. I think it's some of the best that Mega Bloks has made to date. First of all, we've got the new articulation Halo 3 mold grunt i just think it's fantastic it looks absolutely amazing then we've got the halo 3 anniversary halo warthog run figures the chief and the arbiter you can see our review that jonathan and i did on our channel down below always amazing figures to have on display then we've got a meal not the new halo heroes a meal just a standard one but one of the ones with the nice white face to call jewelum dharma and caboose with his blue energy sword and then I also like to display the Rookie AC version wherever I go, whether it be China, Hong Kong, Vietnam. I always have these displayed on my desk to remind me of my roots. First, I'll go with the only set I bought out there. It's the ODSTs versus Brutes from Halo 3 ODST. Phenomenal set. I was really looking out for these when I went to America. Comes with these two ODSTs, one reconnaissance. They've got the brand new SMG that has a removable suppressor and also this very nice backpack. We've seen this a lot before and a SOCOM pistol. They've got a really nice color scheme. They could do with a little more paint application, but you can touch them up with some Warhammer paints in no time. And we've also got the Night Watch Brutes. We've got a Captain and a Standard Brute, I guess. They've got the Halo 3 design, the new molds. They look gorgeous. That uh, night vision paint the call just makes me think about those long nights in New Mombasa. I actually got most of my haul from either Dollar General or Target. Now we're going to move on to the Halo Heroes. I bought a lot of Halo Heroes. I'll start with the one I was most excited about at the time. It's Cat B320. This one comes with a removable head, which kind of ironically has a hole in the head. Oh, I don't, don't know if you remember. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? Just looks fantastic. The paint decals there, the little white stripes are very nice. I love the mold for the robotic arm, and this whole thing just feels like a huge upgrade. And I got two more anniversary ones while I was in America. The Rookie and Noble Six, compared to his original from the drone, which, you know, they're quite similar. Much better helmet paint decal here. This one's a little rough, and it's got some better paint applications on the shoulders. I kind of like this light brown color that they chose for the legs and the arms on the original Rookie, but this one still looks fantastic. I actually much prefer this one. I like the darker color a lot more, but this one does have a fantastic gold reach assault rifle. I'm happy they stuck with the reach mold there, and the base is also really nice. You can't knock these as a lovely little set of iconic characters from the Halo universe. Speaking of iconic characters, we've got the next one, and I know this is Simon Kent's favorite. We've got the Arbiter, the Reaper Marie me, Reaper Marie me, however you say it. He's got his dual energy swords, which even have scratched paint decals all the way through, and then his armor is just gorgeous. My face will be the last thing your pathetic eyes ever see. And for the record, I would have kicked your ass the first time if the lady hadn't stopped me. 
Sometimes Mega Bloks are hit and miss with the armor, but with the Arbiter, they always nail it because they know exactly where the gold or the silver applications run all the way through the armor. As I've mentioned before with the uh, Elite line, I don't think this hole is necessary. You could easily just snugly fit this on top, and I'd much rather it rest then slot into the hole because then you could have him with his helmet off and it looks great, but not with that hole. And I guess this could fit on Cat's head. I think that's a Halo Mega Bloks first. We've got one more figure from the recent line of Halo Heroes. This is the brand new line actually. And we've got the Master Chief with Overshield. I was a little bit resistant on buying this at first, but I found it on Black Friday. And it also, I, I just had to buy it for this assault rifle. This is one of the nicest weapons Mega Bloks has ever made. They could eventually try to do a partial AC for the weapons to fit with the figure, but overall this is a really nice uh, design. I'm not too fussed about the base, I think it looks a little cheap, but the Master Chief itself looks excellent. Now speaking of Master Chiefs, so I'll show you one that I think is a huge step up from that. Mainly purely nostalgia, we've got this one. The Mark V Armor Master Chief from Halo Combat Evolved. He's coming straight out of that cryo bay, baby. That's uh, that's mission one. Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. One more Halo Heroes to go. We've got Captain Cutter. This was actually a Dollar General and this was reduced right down. Sorry, Cutter. You're not the most popular character. But I really like it. I mean, they've they've tried their best with just a human figure, which they've never been able to do insanely well, especially when they don't have armor. They kind of look too skinny. But this one is really nice. He's got a very cool leg strap here, nice detail from Call of Duty, and then paint all the way around. UNSC emblem there. Then we've got Isabel from Halo Wars 2, keeping him company. Exact same mold as Cortana, but I would not expect Mega Bloks to do any differently. They're just two female AIs, so they don't need to change the mold there. But no, Captain Cut's a very nice figure. We're now going to have a look at all of the blind bag figures I got. Maybe the best figure that, out of all of these, even though it's just a cheap one, we've got the Halo 3 Elite. I was just so excited to hear that they redid the Halo 3 design for the Elites. I think it just looks perfect. I'm not gonna try and nitpick anything. Maybe the neck is too long. I don't know. I'm not gonna try and nitpick. This just looks wonderful. Credit to Mega for going on the extra mile and doing this mold. It just came out perfectly. I'm a huge fan of the chrome design, so this chrome green is great. I wouldn't like to see it in like standard figures, but for this anniversary, it looks really cool. Can has recon. Can has recon, don't give your password out to Bungie employees. It just looks perfect. It's like I'm looking straight into the eyes of Halo 3. It's it's absolutely perfect. Gold visor, gold SOCOM, could not knock it. And then we've got the Gold Chief. He's the flag line of this set and he just looks epic. And why have one when you can have two of these babies? They look great side by side. So the last three blind bag figures we have are from Halo Warrior series. Now, the Warrior Defender Challenger, whatever series, that they never came out in the UK. They glossed us by completely. We barely even saw any pictures of them. So it's cool to find them. All of these figures have a red base to them. We have the Flame Marine, a Halo 4 Marine, and this Spartan here. They all have sort of a red theme going on for them. And I like it for these two. I think this looks fantastic. They look like sort of generals or squad leaders. This one looks clunky but I don't mind. It was still a cool figure to get. Overall, just very impressed with the United States of America. You know, God bless that wonderful country. Yeah, what a fantastic haul. I'll just go through it really quick. We've got at the back there, uh, the ODST set with the Brutes. Then we've got the Reaper Marie, me, Arbiter, Noble Six, Rookie, Cat, Master Chief Overshield, Gen 1 Master Chief with Cryo, Frost. We've got the Warrior series, Flame Marine, Marine, and Spartan, Captain Cutter, a gold elite, two gold Spartans, and a gold visored Halo 3 Recon. What a phenomenal haul. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you for the support you are giving me right now. I really feel like I've been welcomed back into the Halo community with open arms, and I've got so much more to give non-stop Halo videos while I'm in quarantine. It's gonna be wonderful. A rebirth of my channel, a rebirth of creativity, and all that jazz. I wanna make sure everybody's staying safe during COVID-19. This is very frightening times, but it's 
Also times we can rest on each other and rest on our communities and show how great we can be to each other in these scary times. Hope you're having a great day and the Gold Master Chief is signing off. Shh.